What's going on? This is Jason Anze from G-Style Magazine, and today and this week in the driveway, we are checking out the 2020 Ford Ranger XLT. So last year we did the 2019 Lariat model, and at that time, it was Ford had just reintroduced the Ranger model back into the lineup. So has there been any real changes since 2019 and now, and how big are the differences between the XLT model and the Lariat? Will it be enough or should you kind of spring for the Lariat model? Well, now that we got the 2020 in-house and we've been riding it for a little bit, let's start talking about that now. So for the 2020 model, there hasn't really been too many changes or additions in the 2020 line. Now for the XLT, there's been a few changes. So for one, they've added more standard equipment on the XLT trim. They've added the FX2 off-road package, if you're looking for that. And they've added a few more color options. But other than that, pretty much it's stayed the same since 2019. Now also for the XLT trim, your price is gonna start out about 28,460, which is a little bit of an increase from last year, but not too much. So now that we kind of know that there's no real big changes for the 2020 model in year, what are the differences between the XLT and the Lariat trim that we have reviewed um, last year? So let's first go on with what's similar, and that's under the hood. So they both sport the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine with auto start-stop technology. They both have electronic 10-speed transmission. Now, when it comes to the differences, that's where we start to see the difference between the trims. Starting first with the wheels. So the Lariat model comes with an 18-inch machine aluminum wheel versus the 17-inch silver painted wheel that the XLT has. So not only just the wheels, there are some other differences between the XLT trim and the Lariat. For one, when it comes to the side mirrors, they do both have power glass with heat, but only the Lariat model will have that integrated turn signal and security approach light. Um, you're also not going to be getting that push to start. Now, that one for me is kind of a haphazard because as someone who has driven in cars who pretty much always has push to start, having to still put the key in and turn in 2020 seems like every car at this point should really have push to start as a standard option. But on the XLT model, it does not have that. So if you want push to start, you're definitely gonna wanna bump up to the Lariat model. Also, the XLT is not gonna have some of them cushier features. Like you're not gonna get that eight way power uh, positioning for the uh, driver's seat and the passenger you're gonna have to do that more manually and things like ambient lighting while not a deal breaker it is a nice touch to have so this is just some of the, the difference between the XLT and the Lariat so XLT you're gonna have all the same power towing power uh, payload capacity you are definitely gonna have the same engine under the hood but when it comes to some of the more cushier items you're just gonna want to bump up to the Lariat model for that so those are definitely some of the differences between the two trims. But before I continue, definitely if you're liking this video, don't forget to, to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon, so that way you'll be notified whenever we drop new videos. So all right, we got, that, we got the differences out of the way. Now, the Ford Ranger is a definitely a capable truck that is fun to drive and can accomplish many needs that you have, especially if you're not looking to get maybe the F-150 or the Super Duty. Now, the Ford Ranger has about 7,500 pound towing power, so if you Want to hook up something to the back and you definitely got you covered and it has about 1800 plus of a payload that it can do so even though it is a little bit smaller than the f-150 and some of the other trucks it is, it is definitely a very capable truck to own and especially starting at 28,000, that's not too bad on the price so i've been riding this for about the last week and my experiences has, my experience has been very good with the ford ranger um as someone who always rides in low sedans that experience can be a little bit different, a little bit jarring as you're much higher up and the riders are definitely a lot more bouncy than what I'm used to. Now, fuel, fuel economy is also pretty good at 21 city and 26 highway. So while not as good as compared to sedans, this is a pickup truck and you kind of know what you expect. So the big question, would I recommend it? I personally would pick up a Ford Ranger. As someone who's funded over the F-150 Raptor, the price point and my wallet haven't really seen eye to eye. So while I do wish there was a Raptor Ranger in the lineup and hopefully maybe in the future, I would still pick up the Ford Ranger. But 
when it comes to trims, I probably would get the Lariat model. Because while the XLT is decent and will do the job well, and 28,000 to start is a good price, if you kind of want all the comforts and all the cushy features, the Lariat model is just kind of where you want to be. So I personally would pick up the Lariat model and that was what, and that's what I will recommend to you guys as well. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, I'm Jason Anderson and thank you for watching G-Style Magazine. I'll see you guys later.